your first TV interview can be really scary, but there's a couple of things that you can do to sort of prepare you for that. The first thing that I always do is I literally spend on my way from my house to the interview in the car saying my introduction over and over and over again. Get out all the stupid things you want to say. You will forget your title. Get out any weird words that you want to say because the moment you start hearing yourself on, you know, as the as the interview starts to go, you'll it will confuse you because you'll realize, oh, I have to talk. But if you've said it a million times, if you can just get through that first question, you'll be fine. Now, uh, knowing your message points is really important. You can do a whole interview. People can be crying. They can be totally swayed by your story. But if you don't tell them where to find you on the web or they don't, you don't know where to buy your book, what is the point? So make sure when before you leave that interview that you, you have your message points ready and that you've said them. Even if a question is about a certain topic and you want to make sure you have only one more question left, say what you want to say. Don't worry about the question. Just make sure you get that important detail out. Um, you also want to keep people wanting more. So it doesn't, you may want to inspire people to come visit you on the web or buy your book, but the idea is really to give them just a taste so that they feel inspired to actually log on read more of the book. You don't want to give them the entire details of what you're doing because by the time you're done with that big long-winded story, they will have forgotten why you're even there and they won't even care. Um, live, a live tape interview versus an actual live interview that's going broadcasting on TV are very different. Live to tape, you can basically, if you say an answer incorrectly, you can ask them to repeat that. Or if you didn't understand a question, or if it's a question that you absolutely don't want to answer, you can say, I don't want to answer that. But if it's live broadcast and it's going out on the airwaves, there's also a delay too. So sometimes you don't even know you're on camera until all of a sudden your monitor kicks in, but you've already been on camera for seven seconds. So make sure that you understand before the interview begins and just stand there with a smile because you don't want to all of a sudden find yourself looking this way or looking this way, you know, out in the world. Um, keep your answer short. I almost want to stop at that just to prove a point, but make sure you don't run on and on and on. The person who's interviewing you wants you to do a great job. They will not come back to you and ask you another question if you literally roll on. So keep your answers short and they will keep you in the conversation.